Hello and welcome back to the Getting Started tutorial for Sophistic Reinforcement Generation. In this step we will generate and check reinforcement in a slab of level 2. Let's start on the sheet S5 of the floor of the second level. Now we activate the view with a double click and start with the create command. And select the database of the floor subsystem at level 2. We choose the design case 2, which means the design of area elements in service ability limit states such as crack width. Now we select the floor we want to reinforce and click finish. We want to create Reba container for a slab if needed. If we do that, we will get some variable Reba sets at the diagonal edges of our slab. In the settings, we can mainly control the rule files. There's one for beams and columns, and another one for slabs and walls. Please keep it in mind that I'll show it in more detail later on. In the other tabs we can set the preferred diameter and spacing of the base reinforcement for each layer individually. We can also turn off the upper layers if we want to get only the lower reinforcement. Here you can see the required reinforcement and the provided reinforcement based on diameter and spacing. Let's try this. Bars with a diameter of 10 mm and a spacing of 220 mm for both directions and confirm it with OK. Now we can see the generated reinforcement. Of course all rebars can be modified manually. For example in this rebar set you could exclude this single rebar. The length of all rebars is defined by the host geometry. When you want to split rebars you can use sophistic reinforcement detailing here you can set the length of supplies, stock length and other settings as required. With the command check we have the possibility to check the generated reinforcement. Click on select elements, select the slab, finish, OK. In order to hide rebars and be able to read the numbers we can change the visual style to hidden lines. For example, we can now compare the existing bars and the required bars. To do this, we choose the lower layer in the dialog box Check Reinforcement and the option Still Required. Let's keep both directions and you can see that there is no further reinforcement needed, just at the edges. The numbers represent the needed bar diameter in square centimeter per meter. If we erase some bars, reinforcement is missing. In this case, we can extend this river set for example and get a live feedback that reinforcement is now sufficient. If you have closed the check reinforcement panel, you can open it again in the tab Sophistic User Interface. In addition to that, we can check the reinforcement along sections. Before we can use the command Check Sections, we have to draw a model line at the section where we want to get the results. We do that here at these two reference planes. Note that this command is only available in 3D views. Because of that, let's switch to the view 3D reinforcement level 2 and click on the command Check Sections. At first we have to select the slab of the second level and click on Finish. OK. And now the two model lines and finish again. A dynamic representation of the required and existing reinforcement has been created at the chosen lines. Make sure you have chosen the right settings here in order to show the values for required and existing reinforcement for both directions of the lower layer. The blue surfaces represent the needed reinforcement and the red ones show the existing reinforcement. When we now make some changes you can see that the analytical areas of the section reacts. You can keep that analysis section or just erase it by selecting it and then pressing delete on your keyboard. That's it. If you want to reinforce walls, the workflow is quite the same. In the following step you will get to know how to generate and check reinforcement for a beam.